So I invite everybody to find a nice quiet place. Wherever that may be, it could be in your chair, it could be in your bed, any place where you know your phone is not buzzing, nobody's knocking on your door, nobody's here to disturb you. And I want you to just begin to notice your breath because your breath is what puts you in contact with your soul. Breathing the Shima and the Shama, same words. The difference is there's a little Yud and that Yud is a letter of wisdom, of Chochmah. So when you breathe, you're able to attach yourself to a mode of wisdom and insight, something that you didn't have before, but just etzem, the essence of the breath is going to put you in a place of greater levels of understanding because you're attaching yourself to deeper parts of your soul. So just slow the pace of your thoughts right now, just with intention and breathe for the purpose of integrating everything that we have tried to bring here to the consciousness and to the awareness. And feel yourself, give yourself permission to go into the city of refuge, wherever that may be for you. Just consciously say and intend and yearn, Hashem, I want to go into this irmiklat. I don't know where it is, but I just want to be in a place of absorption, a place with you. And I want to come close to you, Hashem. So let's travel inward into this place, not outward. We understand from this place that when I go into the city of refuge, I'm looking to be in a place to attain greater levels of shlemut, of peace, of harmony, of perfection, to come in contact to more of those perfected places, those pure places within. I want to go into myself and I want to explore the places of unique me, those places of strength, of wisdom, of resources, of talents, of abilities. So wherever that may take you, where does that city of refuge look to you? For some, it might mean the beach. For others, it might mean the top of the mountain. For others, it might mean a forest. But through the power of breath and intention and yearning and contemplation, you can go and make that city of refuge wherever it feels good for you. And in this place, our desire is to find the unique you. In this aloneness, to find the singular uniqueness. Your neshama shanatata be that special neshama. So open up that place in the power of your imagination. Go into your aloneness. Because this is your avenue to genuine dvekut and cleaving to Hashem. And I want you to contemplate for just a moment. Think about your unique gifts, talents, capabilities that Hashem has awarded and gifted to you in regards to a special situation that maybe you're facing right now. I know there's so many. But try to pinpoint a certain situation that you're in right now. And in this backdrop of this city of refuge, wherever that may be, whatever, however that looks to you. Feel Hashem's presence. Know that you're alone with him. You've, you're seeking guidance under his cloak, under this place, this makom, this place. Go into that place and try to retrieve from within you something that maybe you didn't even notice you had before, it could be a very spontaneous, you'll hear something. I have more strength than I realized. I have more patience than I realized. I have more forgiveness than I realized. What is that special something that Hashem has given you? Maybe you have more love for yourself that can compensate as we learned from Dr. Miriam, right? That love, don't wait for somebody else to give it to you. You have it, endless amounts within yourself. Go into that lavad, open up the lev. 
Lev Dalid, Levad. Open up the door to your heart in that Levad, in that place of, of aloneness. It's a very humbling place, a very empowering place. And notice if there's something there, some words of wisdom, something that's been offered to you. Maybe you just found more of Hashem in that place of your challenge. Here in this Ir Miklat, in this city of refuge in Elul, leading up to Rosh Hashanah and also up until, of course, Yom Kippur and beyond, anytime really. We can go into the city of refuge. We can confront our insecurities, our fears, anything that's blocking us from being able to feel the power that Hashem gave to us to overcome any of the challenges that we face. And know that when you go into this place of quiet, of stillness, city of refuge, Hashem, please hug me in this place of pain. We recognize that we're really not alone. As Rav Pinchas has said, he really did. Nobody understands me but you, Hashem. Nobody feels my pain but you, Hashem. And nobody can help me but you, Hashem. That is the fundamental essence of what it means to be alone. When nobody out there can really understand, feel, or help me. Only you, Hashem. And that is the epitome of the city of refuge, of the Ir Miklat. And that is what I want to collect. That's what I want to absorb. That in that aloneness, there's all one. The oneness of feeling you, Hashem, and your oneness. There's no duality. There's no issue here other than me feeling separate, if I can just go back into the oneness and feel you, Hashem, all the Yeshuot, all the salvations, all the Nechamat, all the consolations, it's always going to come from you. So just breathe that in. Breathe in this place of feeling Hashem's presence. Recognize that everything that was, that's been happening in the world at large and in your home and in your life privately. Besamti lah, Hashem put it for you. Because you're capable. You have something there. In that void, you have something there that you can fill. And it's not because you have or you're something right? There, there's something there that you, it's not about you, it's about Hashem and the oneness and the aloneness that he wants to offer you. Go into your cheder yichud, that place of oneness with Hashem and reveal to yourself what that place really is offering you. Breathe that in. Be in gratitude. Thank you, Hashem, for this opportunity to meet you in this place, this city of refuge. And please, Hashem, we can add end the meditation. Please, Hashem, please, Hashem may it be well that I should always find you. I should always be able to enter in this place of safety. Away from everybody. I find only you and I want only you. And I'm so glad that I found you, Hashem. And may I always be able to find you, Hashem. And may I never look for alternatives, but always come back to the origin. And that's you. And just sit with that for a few moments. I'll let there be a, a moment of silence for just a moment. And, and you can slowly, when you're ready, open up your eyes and come back to the here and now. <laughs>